Professor John Russell speaking. Recommended? By whom? Yes, I see, but now? But I have to be in the office soon. Who is this, any... And you need me for... Very well, I'll come straight away. The Secret Service. Sir, Professor Russell is here. Thank you, Barbara. Good morning, John. Thank you for coming so quickly. Colonel Travers, what can I do for you? John, I would like you to take a look at this. We recently came into possession of this information. It indicates that German scientists are developing a new kind of weapon system. This weapon system represents a direct threat to England. Yes, and you need me to determine its well, uh, yes. authenticity. Yes. They're incomplete. Professor Russell, please don't misunderstand me, but I must know for certain if these plans are genuine and if this weapon system represents an immediate threat. I... well, yes. I think so, yes. The equations are genuine. It... Um, the plans seem authentic. So it is possible that this weapon system is ready to be used? Well... Theoretically, yes. That's all I needed to know. You will have to hurry if you want to get to Berlin on time. I can't go to Berlin. It's... Professor... This is not my problem. If this weapon is built, it will be your problem. It will be the problem of everyone in Europe. But listen, I'm not a spy. But I am. Precisely. You will travel together and attempt to find the complete plans. Professor? Perhaps you would fulfill your duty a bit more quickly if you had lost your entire family in a single night during an air raid. Peter will be your eyes and ears, and he will protect you. John, you know more about this system than anyone else, and I know you speak fluent German. You're our only chance. I wouldn't send you to Germany without good reason. I need you. Your country needs you. Very well. I'll do my part then. Good. I'm proud of you. I would like to ask you to wait outside for a moment and come to terms with the facts. I must go over a few final details with Mr. Graham. Hmm. I'd like to know what they're discussing. I can't understand what they're saying. Perhaps I can open that window up there a little wider. The window is up high and closed. This is the way to Colonel Travers' office. No, I'm supposed to wait here. Oh dear. A dustbin full of rubbish. The stench is foul. Hey, who'd want to throw away a perfectly good potato? A stack of old cartons. That'll come to nothing. My handkerchief. I take it everywhere. A cellar window. One of the bars is bent. Hmm. Through the application of the lever law and a great deal of brute force, <coughs> the bar is mine. A bar broken off a grating. A newspaper from last week. The headline reads, English lion defies German eagle. Very sensational. The window is slightly open. I can hear Colonel Travers and Graham talking. 
although not clearly. The window is up too high. I can't reach it. Cobblestones. Very decorative. A few stones are loose. No one will thank me if I dig them out. A black automobile. Mr. Graham brought me here in it. The wall separates this backyard from another. I don't want to climb over there. A tree. Large and strong. I can't climb it. The trunk is too smooth. A long branch. It looks as though it may be a bit rotten. I'll take the branch. Hey! The stupid crow won't let me. A crow? I don't really get along with animals. A crow? Well... Will you let me? Hey! Very aggressive. Hmm. I'll scatter the potato on the ground. Perhaps I can lure the crow that way. Wonderful! Hmm. If I push the hollow end of the bar firmly on the branch, I'll have something resembling a spear. It looks like a spear. Long, pointed, and dangerous. Ha! Huh. Now I can push the window open a bit wider. I can't wait to hear what they're talking about. What are you doing, Professor? Uh, I... Come along, we're going. Right now? Will your colleagues inform my housekeeper? Yes, we mustn't lose any time. Our contact in Berlin has already been informed. The journey to Berlin was arduous, but not as dangerous as I thought it'd be. The journey was without incident. I hope the rest of the mission is just as simple. John, this is Schmidt, our contact. This is Professor Russell. A pleasure. Quiet now. My delivery van is over there. Back there is the entrance to the KWI. KWI? The Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. This is where the plans we showed you came from. How does it look, Schmidt? There are two guards by the entrance, but I don't know how many are in the building. Hmm. How many ways in? Well, the fence is locked. The windows are all shut. Of the doors, only the main entrance is not connected to the alarm. Very well, then. We'll go through the main entrance. We'll wait and see if the guards go off to the bathroom or something. John, make yourself comfortable back there in the delivery van for now. All right. Hmm. Maybe I can distract the guards. Graham. What? What do we do now? We have to find a way to get into the Institute. Are we going back to England the same way once we're finished here? I am very tempted to fly across the channel this time. That would be very nice. John. Yes? I have never seen anyone as seasick as that. Um, thank you. I'm sure you have a plan. What are you going to do? Professor, just leave that to me. I, uh, yes. All right. You can have a look around here. Just stay close by. Fine.
Don't you have a weapon with you? But of course I do. Well, couldn't you... Shoot the guards? Yes. Good plan. If I kill both of them before they kill me, every soldier in the Institute will be alerted, not to mention the local police. I'm afraid I'm not a very good agent. That's why I'm here, John. Couldn't Schmidt distract the guards? No. Schmidt only scouted everything. I won't put him at risk. But you'll put me at risk. No, Professor, not you either. I'm not terribly comforted by that statement. Thanks for now. All right. Excuse me. Yes? What should we do now? We wait and we watch. What if the guards don't go away? Then Graham will think of something. Can I borrow things from the delivery van? Go ahead. However, you won't be able to do much with most of the stuff. Thanks. Anyway. Here, take my pocket knife. A pocket knife is always useful. Thank you, Schmidt. Schmidt. What's it like living in Berlin? We have little to eat. We are frightened by the bombing raids, and we hope the war will be over soon. I guess it's the same here as back home in London. That's the war for you. Can't we just take out the guards? It's not that simple. If we cause even the slightest commotion, we will have the police. Or worse, the Gestapo after us. Yes, but... Graham wants us to proceed quietly and secretly. I just thought... One should not kill people so frivolously, Professor. No, that isn't what I meant. All right. Why don't we climb over the wall? There are metal bars on top of the wall. It would take a ladder to get over. Yes, and? Three dark figures running about with a three-meter ladder. Hmm. That's not loud and conspicuous. Understood. Perhaps we should come back some other day. Never put off until tomorrow. Yes, yes, I understand. I'll keep looking around. Do that. A broken street lamp. Nonsense. A wall. No one can get over that much too high and that metal barricade at the top the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute this is where Germany's great minds conduct research very impressive a lorry quality German workmanship it has a left-hand drive I don't have the ignition key, so... no. A poster. Seems to be an exhortation to hold out. A storm drain. The sewers are under there. The grating is screwed down. An old newspaper. German, of course. The glory of our heroic warriors shines brightly. It sounds more like an ad than a headline. Pebbles? Slate or granite? I was never much good at lithology. Hmm. Who knows what I might be able to use them for? A slip of paper. Looks like a note or a shopping list. Hmm. Schmidt's delivery van. Schmidt's chemical cleaners, marvellous camouflage, soldiers with weapons. I don't want to get too close to them. One of the delivery van's tie handles. Things can be lashed down here with a rope if there's no more room inside. The delivery van's radiator is behind this cover. The delivery van has been standing here for a while. Otherwise, 
I'll have just burned my hand on the cap. A stool, elegant and comfortable. I don't want to sit down now. I'm too agitated. A table, fits just right in the delivery van. How handy. Aha, uh -huh. a hidden wireless. How exciting. A thin rubber hose. Schmidt must use it to pour his chemicals into bottles. I'm sure I can do something with it. A box with all manner of chemicals. But there is a lot in there. Let me just take a bottle of spirits. Spirit is derived from the Latin for breath. There's still more in the crate. Soft soap. Cleans quickly and thoroughly. Citrus extract. And everything smells fresh and new. Rock salt for especially tough stains. A pencil, freshly sharpened. These Germans. Stain remover. I assume it only removes the stain, not what's under it. An empty glass bottle. Hmm. Ferrous sulfate. A disinfectant. There's nothing else useful in there. The hose is quickly tied. The rubber hose is tied to the tie handle. I'm sure I can do something with it. Ouch! John, what the... Hey, that's a good idea. Let me... Ah, who is throwing? I'll get you, my friend. Very good. And now carefully up to the entrance. Schmidt, you keep an eye out here and cover our backs. Understood. Locked. I expected that. And now? I'll find out if we can get into the building another way. You go back to Schmidt and wait for me there. But... Go, go! The guards will be back soon. The entrance door to the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. It's locked. A keyhole. The key is in the lock. Unfortunately, on the other side. I'll push my handkerchief under the door. With a bit of skill, I can push the key out of the lock and it'll land on the handkerchief. Then, if I just pull carefully... Now, pull carefully. Oh, no. The key doesn't fit under the door. How annoying. But I must open the lock somehow. Dark and mysterious. Closed and barred.
Excuse me. Yes? We have a problem at the entrance. What is it? The entrance door is barred from the inside. That's too bad. I'm sure Graham will think of something. He's already looking for another way in. There, you see. Everything all right out here? Yes. But it's cold. Hurry. We're doing our best. Hmm. I'll keep looking around. Do that. Hmm. Who knows what I might be able to use them for? The hose fits well in the bottle. One end of the rubber hose is in the empty bottle. Now I can siphon the water. So, the water is even still a bit warm. A bottle of water. Well, in it goes. There's ferrous sulfate in the bottle. A good disinfectant. Well, in it goes. Hydrochloric acid. I must be careful, it's very corrosive. Hydrochloric acid. I must be careful, it's very corrosive. The hydrochloric acid should corrode the lock. Corroded. Ha! John, why aren't you waiting with Schmidt like I... Acid. What? I mixed an acid from the chemicals in Schmidt's van and cracked the lock. I must say, I'm impressed. Now we can go in and... Let me do that. Don't you hear that? Someone is snoring. The door squeaks. If you had opened the door, the snore would have woken up and sounded the alarm. I thought... Professor, the business with the acid was clever, but now you almost gave us away. You stick to thinking. Maybe you'll think a way for us to get in there without being heard. I, uh... All right, I'll think of something. Graham. What? About the squeaking. Yes. Couldn't we just open the door very quickly? Maybe then it won't squeak. The word maybe bothers me. Very well. I'll keep thinking. Thanks for now. All right. The hose fits well in the bottle. Now I can siphon the water. So, the water is even still a bit warm. Soap flakes. Interesting. Hmm. Now I have liquid soap. Rather viscous. A bottle of liquid soap. Aren't I the clever one? No, no, no! guard in there is still snoring. Have you thought of anything? I think so. So, 
Now it shouldn't squeak anymore. Hey, not bad. Then let's take a look around inside. A sleeping German soldier. I shouldn't wake him. Phew. Yes, all right. I'll look around the laboratory as you check the offices. If someone comes, hire or get out and wait with Schmidt. Understood? I'm supposed to go alone? If we search separately, it will go faster. Go on. Fine. Chandelier. Not bad. I can't reach it. This leads to a storeroom. A floor vase. I'm not interested at the moment. Mr. Graham slipped through here. The laboratories are back there. No. Graham wants me to search the offices. The guard is asleep. For now. I don't want to get too close. He'd probably hear my heart pounding. A screwdriver. I once injured myself rather badly with something like this. I'm sure I'll need it. A metal bucket. It's empty, but it looks as though it's used often. I'm not touching that. With my luck, it would fall to the ground and wake the guard. Sticky tape. Very useful. I'll take that. Old wooden crates. They look dirty. Ugh! They are dirty. An old wooden cupboard. Seems sinister. I'm sure there are spiders in there. Or German spies. A large floor vase. Very tasteful. It looks like those in the foyer. It's probably a replacement, in case somebody breaks one out there. The rest of a roll of wire. I'll take that. A plumber's helper. Seems to be unused. I'm sure I'll need it. Empty bottles, made of glass. Since the dust is rather thick, the bottles must have been there for a long time. This is the way to the offices. I can see houses and stars. Locked. What was that noise? I can see houses and stars. The toilet is behind this door. There's a sign that reads, out of order. Broken and locked. Thank God I don't have to go. This is the way into an office. A bookshelf with technical literature. 
There's nothing interesting there. A blackboard filled with formulas. Hmm. No, nothing exciting. A globe. Seems to be an older model. Germany's conquests aren't shown. I'd better not turn it. It might squeak. An electrical socket. Interesting. Electricity is dangerous in Germany, just as it is in England. A typical office plant. Seldom watered, but green nevertheless. No. Bad idea. A torch. Compact and useful. I'll take it. Damaged. Damn. Two office desks. The users don't appear to be of the tidy sort. Abyssus, abyssum, invocat. A typewriter. Looks used. A drawer. There's dust in here, nothing else. This drawer won't open. In these desks, all of the drawers are on the same mechanism. Maybe the drawer will open if I play with the others. Through there is a small courtyard, and then the wall to the street. Locked. That was to be expected. A heating radiator. It's cold. Under the heater is an inlet pipe with a valve. A waste bin. Every office has one. There are scraps of paper in there. Scraps of paper with letters on them. Some are missing. A bookshelf with technical literature. This is the way into an office. Locked, of course. A pane of milk glass. The window putty looks crumbly. I can't knock out the glass. I'd have the guard on my heels immediately. That should soften the window putty. The window putty has softened. I just have to scrape it away a bit from the frame. That'll remove the bothersome putty. Let's go. That should work. The pain from the institute director's door and the plumber's helper. I've no more use for that. There's no window in the frame. I can't reach the lock. My arm is too short. I can fish for the door catch with the wire. And the door is open. I ought to do this professionally. A clock. Looks expensive. Hmm. A wedding photo. How romantic. A woman with a child. Hmm. I don't want to take the picture. I don't even know the woman. Ah. An allegory. First, the left photo with the wedding. Then the clock symbolizing the passage of time. And then the photo of a mother and her child. Or it could all just be a coincidence. No, I don't want the clock. A small key. There we are. That'll do. 
a small key. Well then, I'll unlock. So, the drawer is no longer locked. Let's see what's in here. A thin metal rod, a few scraps of paper, and a small booklet. Really, one shouldn't read other people's journals. But I'll make an exception this time. I begin work every day at five to eight. In these difficult times, it's very important to have a well-regulated schedule. God, he sounds almost as boring as I am. A thin metal pin. There's a small scraps of paper with letters on them. Some are missing. A desk, very prestigious. Not tidied up. Tut tut tut. The desk chair. It's very inviting for sitting and thinking. Better not. I might fall asleep thinking. A heater, pleasantly warm. Under the heater is an inlet pipe. When it's open, hot water is conducted to the heater in the next room. Books everywhere. The institute director seems to be a well-read man. I don't want to pour over any books. A cupboard, looks unused, locked. The Institute Director's Diplomas. Mine are quite similar. That couldn't possibly work. An old pendulum clock. A fine piece. That should work.
There we are. That'll do. Hmm. I can glue the scraps of paper together with sticky tape. Hey, the metal thing can be used as a minute hand. A secret door, how exciting. Here you are. I didn't find anything of interest in the laboratories. What is that? I found a secret door. You are quite good at thinking, aren't you, Professor? It would seem so. A secret room? Well, after you. A safe. Hmm. Well then, impress me again. A telephone. The latest model. I don't want to call anyone at the moment. A picture of some military bigwig. That won't come to anything. A chair. Looks uncomfortable. Presumably so that one stays awake longer during the meetings. That won't work. Slips of paper with writing. There are just numbers on the slips of paper. Very uninteresting. One slip says L O Z O R O O Z. Very cryptic. A metal ruler, hard and cruel. I'll take that. Books, nothing important there. I don't think that's very clever. A lot of file cards. I'm not looking through those. It would take forever. Besides, the documents I'm looking for are certainly not kept in a simple file card box. A blackboard with a couple of diagrams. These diagrams look more like shopping lists. Graham. What? Have you found anything in the laboratories? No, nothing of any interest. How do you know that? Nothing against your abilities, but you're not a scientist. If something is lying about in the open or in a freely accessible filing cabinet, then it usually isn't very secret. I see. Good. Can't you open the safe? I thought you had an idea. Or was that your idea? Um, no. Nevertheless, can't you open the safe? Of course. Give me a welding apparatus, some explosives, about ten hours, and the safe will be open. You love it when I ask stupid questions, don't you? No, Professor. They're wearing me out. Thanks for now. All right. Hmm. I think I know how to get it open. Locked and barred. Let's get on with it, then. Open. Bravo, Professor. These documents... Yes? They contain the plans and formulas for a uranium bomb. I thought you were aware of that. Yes, but these plans are complete. And the Germans are not just developing a uranium bomb. They're also working on a rocket propulsion system for it. That means? That England will be helpless in the face of a nuclear threat if this weapon system is ever completed. Completed? Yes. They're apparently already in the prototype stage. That doesn't sound good. Are there any indications where the production facility for this prototype is? No. No. Only a materials list with a stamp. It looks like HWA. HWA? The Harris Waffenamt. 
That is the central office for the technical development and manufacture of weapons in Berlin. I'm sure we can find out more about this production facility there. That sounds dangerous. Professor, we have to get in there. It's our duty to eliminate this threat. I know, but it's still dangerous. Not if we're careful. Let's go. Mr. Graham is very resolute. Unlike myself. That leads back to the Institute Director's office. I can get back to the corridor through here. What is it? The soldier woke up because he was cold. We had better be quiet. I knew it. I shouldn't have come. Professor. This is the way back to the foyer. I can't go out there. Out there is a surly guard with a loaded weapon. Nothing in here. Empty. Finally, it's open. What have we here? A valve wheel. Somewhat dirty. That's a, a, a turning wheel thing. The valve is open, but no hot water is flowing. The heating radiators in the foyer should now get warm. I'll wait and see. Hey, Professor. The soldier has gone back to sleep. Good. I turned on the heaters in the foyer. I thought the soldier might go back to sleep then. Very clever. Now let's get out of here. I'd love to. Not now. Come on, Schmidt. We need to get to the Heereswaffenamt. The Heereswaffenamt? Now? We must find something out there. Perhaps we should inform Travers, too. I have a wireless in the back. You talk to Travers. I'll go over the route to the HWA with Schmidt. All right. And John. Yes? Good work in there. Thank you. Hello? Russell? Hello? Yes, it's me. Well, Professor, what's the situation? We have the plans. However, the Germans are not only developing a uranium bomb, which is already in the prototype stage, 
but they're also building a rocket propulsion system for it. So the threat is greater than we thought. The documents contained a reference to the Heereswaffenamt in Berlin. Graham thinks we can find out where the production facility for the prototype is. Very good. I assume Schmidt can take the two of you there? Yes. But it all seems rather hasty and dangerous to me. Professor Russell, Mr. Graham has a great deal of experience in these matters. You will obey his instructions and help him to avert this threat. Yes, sir. Schmidt took us to the Heeres Waffenamt in his delivery van. I can't get used to driving on the right side of the road. Impressive building. Yes. Why did Schmidt drive off? We don't need him here. Don't worry. I know how we can get in touch with him. Good. What now? Now we look around inconspicuously. Locked. I'll go look around the corner. I can't shake off the feeling that this is getting increasingly dangerous. The building looks as though it was hit by a bomb. How? The Heeres Waffenamt. An architectural mix of showy and bureaucratic. Hmm? Very martial. All that's missing is a statue with a raised sword. They're up too high. Perhaps I can find a branch somewhere. One of the metal spikes back there looks loose. That's the way to the side of the building. Get the damn door open. Maybe with a bit of gentle violence. I thought you were against violent solutions. That's why I said gentle violence. I have a better idea. Marvelous. Who is she? Who are you? My name is Anne Taylor. May I? Thank you. She also works for MI6. However, not on this assignment. When I tell Travers... Come off it, Peter. After all, you have the documents from me. The incomplete documents. Better than nothing, isn't it? And voila, the door is open. What are you doing here anyway? At the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, there was an indication that we could learn something about the production facilities for the uranium bomb here. You want to tell her anything else, Professor? I thought that... Clues to a production facility. That will be in the archives. There is a special archive in the Heereswaffenamt. There must be something to be found there. Thank you. You may go now. The Professor and I will take care of it. Why so unfriendly, Peter? Isn't it better if I go in with the professor? I know my way around. You should keep an eye out here so no one surprises us. I don't think that is a good idea. I think so too. Shouldn't you both go in and I'll keep watch? Oh yes? And what will you do if someone speaks to you? A patrol, for instance? I... um... I... well... You will blush and stammer? Yes. No. Th th that, that is... All right. I'll stay here and keep watch, but hurry. Fine. Let's go, Professor. Peter Graham, His Majesty's agent. Hopefully, he'll take me back to England in one piece. Graham? Yes. What should we do now? The same thing we did a couple of minutes ago, Professor. Can't we find out some other way? 
where the production facility for this prototype is. How? I don't know. Exactly. So get back to work. How do you know Miss Taylor? From other missions. Is that all? She has no discipline. She does what she wants. Hmm. Does she complete her assignments? Yes. So, what's the problem? She is cheeky, arrogant, ignores orders, and thinks she is somewhat better than the rest. Actually, I find her quite likable. I would be careful if I were you. Where did Schmidt go? Home. He also has a regular life. Yes, of course. How do we get back to England? Leave that to me. I just meant, is there a plan? Of course. Shouldn't I know what it is? In case something happens to you or Miss Taylor? If something happens to me or Miss Taylor, you will probably already be captured or dead. Oh. See you later. Be careful. Anne Taylor. She's never at a loss for words. And she's attractive. I suppose. Professor? I... What? Um... Yes? You're staring. Oh, I... I, I was just, um... thinking. Excuse me? Miss Taylor? Yes? Do you know Schmidt? Schmidt? Maybe. He's a German and helped us in the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. Oh yes, we use him as a driver and an observer. Hmm. He's reliable and he's risking quite a bit by helping us. I don't know any more than that. Thank you. Does Travers know you're here? I don't think so. When Travers informed me that you and Graham were coming... You thought we couldn't handle it. Well, I didn't help you in the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. Why? That would have hurt Graham's ego even more. But when he started working on that lock here, I couldn't help myself. So, you're our knight in shining armor. Knight is a bit exaggerated. Only hope of survival is more like it. What should we do now? We look for the plans you want, and then we get out of here. That sounds reasonable. Unlike everything else that I've said? Um, no. Of, of, of course not. Have you already been in here? Yes. Then there are no more surprises waiting for us. It may be that the security precautions have been increased. That doesn't sound good. Then you should have stayed in England. As if I ever had a choice. Have you ever killed someone? Why? Would that make me less attractive? I... don't know. <laughs> As an agent, you must have... John. Yes? You don't want to know. Yes. Fine. How did you come by the plans that Travers showed me? Through perseverance, luck and deceit. I was expecting a thrilling story. Maybe I'll tell you about it later. Um... nothing. If you say so. A little used side entrance. Now. This is the archive department of the Heereswaffenamt. We must be quiet and careful. Yes. The archive should... Footsteps! Quick, in here! That was close. Oh, that was too close for me. All right, stay calm. It's just one guard. I am calm. Now what? Well, I don't know either. Any ideas? This sort of situation is exactly what I was afraid of. Being alone with a girl in a dark room? I don't expect jokes are going to help us. I'm sure a professor like you has a lot of good ideas. I'm starting to understand, Graham. I can't quite make out what it is. It could be a pelican. Or a general. A woman and child. Hmm. The portrait of an older gentleman. Boring. This is the way into the corridor. I just have to watch out for the guard. The door handle. How? 
The plant is obviously comfortable on top of the filing cabinet. A picture. Marvellous. A waste bin. It's empty. Very funny. Ha ha. A filing cabinet. The documents we're looking for are in the archive, not here. A desk. Very tidy. An ugly telephone. It's connected. I wouldn't know whom I should call. A lot of useless paper, nothing significant. I don't need any of that. A stack of books, nothing of interest. Basics of industrial mass production, guide to development and testing, military equipment acceptance report. How incredibly boring. A paperweight in the shape of a jumping horse. I don't have anything to weigh down. The heater for this office. I'm not touching any more heaters tonight. A small balcony that overlooks an inner courtyard. Locked. Excuse me. Miss Taylor? Yes? What do you think of Mr. Graham? He's a good agent. A bit too stiff and humorless for my taste, but he's good. He doesn't seem to like you. I know. I rarely stick to the rules and conventions. He can't stand that. He seems to be very fond of military correctness. So, you're a professor of psychology? No, physics. Why? Oh, I, I see. Um... Nothing. If you say so. The telephone cord. Very good. A telephone cord. Elegant and practical. And the insulation is stripped from the cord. The telephone cord. It's been stripped at both ends. Oh, I have to be careful. The telephone cord is connected to the door handle. What a fiendish plan. Excuse me, Miss Taylor? Yes? What do you think of Mr. Graham? He's a good agent. A bit too stiff and humorless for my taste, but he's good. You don't seem to like him. I don't find him attractive as a man, if that's what you mean. No, I just... So, you're a professor of psychology? No, physics. Why? Oh, I, I see. Could you yell for help, please? Why? Are you going to attack me? Um, no. I want to lure the guard. Then why don't you yell yourself? I think the soldier will be less suspicious if he hears a woman screaming. All right, then. Help! Who is in there? Ah! Ha! Huh. That worked well. I'll see if the coast is clear. Professor? Yes? Well done. Thank you. One more thing. Yes? You should remove the cable before you leave. I... Yes. Yes, I was just about to do that. The cord is connected to the door handle and the electrical socket. How fiendish. Oh, well. Oh, well. A broom cupboard. A 
an old rat trap. Ugh. I'm not touching that thing. Who needs a rat trap? Cardboard cartons, dusty and empty. I'm not taking those. They're just useless ballast. An old broom. Abyssus abyssum invocat. Dusty old bottles in various sizes and shapes. I don't need them. Window cleaner smells rather strong. One can always use window cleaner. Floor polish. Shines floors like never before. Hmm. Floor polish. A portrait of a young man. Not very exciting. What am I supposed to do with this large, unwieldy picture? A portrait of an older gentleman. Boring. The soldier is unconscious. I don't want to search the soldier. If I find the picture of his mother, my guilty conscience will grow even bigger. The soldier's submachine gun. Violence begets violence. And I'd only shoot myself in the foot. There's a statue on this small decorative table. Interesting. But no. A statue of a naked woman without arms. Ugly. But I'm not an expert on art. That isn't helpful to the mission. The corridor goes around the corner here. Somehow, I feel sorry for him. You're awfully compassionate for someone who just gave him a rather hefty electric shock. That's the way I am, Miss Callas. I meant that as a compliment. Oh, thank you. The portrait of a man. He looks like a hawk. The portrait of a fat boy. Not stout, fat. There are a lamp and a vase on this table. I have no use for that, old and tasteless. The portrait of a young lady. Unfortunately, she's as thin as a rake. The portrait of an elderly lady. She reminds me of my Aunt Mary, the one with the false teeth. A chair. I'm not tired. My adrenaline level is rather high. This is the way into the archive. This is the major archive. The special archive we want is one floor down, at the end of the room, but I have never been in there. Well, let's go. Just a moment. There are soldiers patrolling down there. Let me try something. What is going on now? It's just something wrong with the wiring again. The lights are coming back on. This is annoying. Wait. A fuse is blown only when more than one light goes out at a time. Then we have to go up to the fuse box. Wonderful. We aren't electrician. Fine. We'll do it this way. I'll sneak to the special archive. You turn the lights out wherever I am. Here are the light switches. Can you manage that? This is why I went to university. Probably literature. And one step closer to madness. So, I'll go down and you guide me to the special archive from up here. Turn off the lights when there are no guards. I'll go there and I'll always be in the dark. Of course, the guards can't get too close to me. They aren't entirely stupid. Understood? Yes, yes. And always turn on just one light, else the soldiers will come to check and catch us. Precisely.
Anne wants to go back. Well then, let's do it. Well, that went well after all. And? The door is secured by a code. I can't get in. Presumably one of the guards has the code. There could be a fire or something. That means we have to knock out the guards. Precisely. It would be best to knock out both guards at the same time. I'll take a look down there but quietly and carefully. Yes, if the guards should discover me, you can turn out the light and I'll run away. Good plan. Great, very impressive. A control panel. This is where all the lights in this room are switched on and off. No, I don't want to make the guards down there even more nervous. This leads down to the archive. I have to be careful so that the guards don't spot me. Card cabinet. Files and documents are stored here. Too heavy. Rings are fastened to these two card cabinets. Ouch! A tripwire. A professional tripwire. The flag of the Thousand Year Reich. What can I use that for? Quickly pocketed. Now the flag is really filthy. The floor here is rather dirty. That isn't helpful to the mission. The flag has floor polish all over it. What a mess. Well, that's certainly shiny, and it's very slippery. Then I'll call. Hello? Ah! Ah! There we are. That'll do. He's unconscious. Good. He doesn't carry anything interesting. This soldier is also in dreamland. Ah. 
Huh? A notebook? A small notebook. Four, nine, three. Why is that written here? The special archive is back there. This is the special archive. The documents should be in there. I'll try to find a way in then. You are certainly enthusiastic. You've got a taste for it. No, I'm simply frightened, and I want to get this over as quickly as possible. A table, good for reading files. That'll come to nothing. I can't quite make out what it is. It could be a pelican. Or a general. It's rather dark. I'd call this picture Raven in the Night. A door. It has a handle but no lock. Curious. Locked. That was obvious. I can only make out a few lines. A flower? A tank? Here is a flap. It's almost impossible to see. There! Open! Behind the flap is a sort of, um, door opener. Well, that wasn't so difficult. Not bad, Professor. The door to the special archive. Open. Well, I'll give it a try. A great deal of file folders. Thoroughly dusty. No one has touched these folders in a long time. Therefore, the documents I'm looking for cannot be in here. There's a letter next to every lock. Hmm. The lockers won't open that easily. A reading table. It looks worn. There are similar tables in my lecture hall at the university. A reading table. It looks worn. There are similar tables in my lecture hall at the university. Very patriotic. The flag over the reading table. That can't be done. Marching soldiers. How artistic. A picture. Ugly. Workers gazing into the heavens. Very melodramatic. The picture can be tipped. There are a lot of different keys hanging here. I'm certain that something can be done with that many keys. Various keys. You as in uranium bomb. Huh. Very good. I'll compare the plans from the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute with these. Must you do that now? If I don't, I'll overlook something, and we'll have to come back here again. Very well. Hmm. The good news is that this rocket propulsion system will never work. Uh, at least not for the next few years. There are too many unknowns in the calculations. And the bad news? The uranium bomb doesn't work. And that is bad? What? Oh, well, um, no. Um, the bad thing is that the actual calculations are correct. Only the implosion mechanism is not properly designed. But with a little thought, it should be possible to get it right. Implosion mechanism? Indeed. An initial detonation is required to condense the uranium. It reaches its critical mass, 
and by this the actual nuclear fission is started. And it's there that the Germans have made a mistake. You know a lot about this. I... well, it's just that. Uh, by the way, it also says here where the production facility for the uranium bomb prototype is. Where? Heigerloch. It seems to be a small town near Stuttgart. Guten Abend. Thank you for all your efforts. May I please ask for the documents? Thank you, Professor Russell. May I introduce myself, from Presnitz? I would like to thank you not only for providing me with the complete documentation, but also with the location of the production facility, and the help of, it seems to me, an expert. I have wanted those documents for some time. However, how shall I put it? Uncooperative and deeply distrustful elements of the Waffen-SS have prevented me. Thankfully, this evening, I have a reason for entering this office without drawing the attention of those who are envious of me. English spies. The propaganda ministry will certainly be pleased to learn of this. Now I only require your help, Professor Russell, in eliminating the error in the implosion pressure. I will not. I, uh... I will not help you. Oh, I think you will. Otherwise, Mr. Graham will be liquidated. If you are then still uncooperative, Miss Taylor will be next. Do you understand? John! Please, I am speaking with Professor Russell. I have no choice but to do what you want. That is precisely how I see it. We were taken to a building in another part of Berlin and questioned. Very unpleasant. And that's an understatement. Wonderful professor. So you have solved the problem. As you can see, Mr. Graham and Miss Taylor are still alive. Yes. I can see. It follows from the documents that German High Command is waiting until the rocket propulsion system and the uranium bomb can be used without failure. Now that the problem with the implosion pressure has been eliminated, I have no reason to wait for the decision of those armchair strategists. I shall do without the propulsion system. I shall have the bomb completed and use it to bring about an end to this war. You can't do that. I can and I shall. Professor Russell, you will accompany me to Heigerloch. Who knows? Perhaps you will need to revise your calculations. But... I thought you'd release Peter and Anne, and... Professor, you cannot be so naive. If you release your two accomplices, I can no longer be assured of your cooperation. And how do I know you won't kill them both anyway? You do not know that, of course. What the devil? Turn that light back on! Oh. Ah! Oh, my behind. Luckily, the lorry was just sitting here. I shouldn't hang about too long. Von Presnitz's men will be searching here soon. the soldiers. I'll hide here for now. The lorry has driven off. Now I can move more freely. Curse you, von Presnitz. Someone must have been monitoring us ever since we reached Berlin. Else no one could have... And someone pushed me out of the window in the dark. That was no accident. Did Anne do that? Or Peter? Von Presnitz seems to have a plan for what he intends to do with the bomb. And I played right into his hands. Oh no. I can only try to get back to England. 
or to Heigerloch, which is much more dangerous. Although no one will be expecting that. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I'll do that. All right, John Russell. Let's show these Germans what an able mind can do. I'm near the main train station. I can get to Heigerloch from there, unless I get caught by a German patrol, of course. A poster. It has some sort of exhortation to hold out. The poster is well glued. I won't even get a piece of it off with my bare hands. I can cut off a corner here. A very dark corner. It offers a good hiding place. A storm drain. It exudes a slightly musty odor. No, I don't want to get my clothes dirty. That way leads back to the lorry that broke my fall. The lorry's gone. I hope the Germans don't find me. A puddle of oil. The lorry probably leaks. I could smear my face with oil to camouflage myself, but I fear that would only make me more conspicuous. Now my handkerchief is full of oil. Was that clever of me? A rusty drain pipe. Looks decrepit. I don't want to climb up there. Neither does my aching backside. Crates are stacked here. They smell of wet paper. Rubbish, old newspapers, empty envelopes, sticky brushes. I can't do anything with that. A blanket. I think it's a military blanket. It isn't very cozy. A blanket. I think it's a military blanket. It isn't very cozy. A gate. Large enough for a vehicle to pass through. Locked. There's probably a courtyard behind this wall. With my aching um, tailbone, I'd better not climb over there. And why should I? From the window display, I'd say this is a junk shop. Based on the dust, they haven't sold anything in a long time. A load of useless junk. A street lamp. The drunk is keeping it from being stolen. I don't think that's very clever. A locked door. I must get to the train station. I have no business in there. The man is quite drunk. I've never been in such a state because I always have to throw up first. Excuse me? Eh? Huh? Is everything all right? Couldn't be better. Things are looking up. Ah. Or they are going downhill. Depends on where you're standing. Politically or what? Nah. Here by the street lamp it's looking up. Where you are. <laughs> it looks like it's going downhill. <laughs> yeah, boy! Shh! Shouldn't you be in your lodgings? Me? I have to be awake and out on the street. <laughs> Why? Yes, 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 yes. Because I'm uh, responsible for the siren. What? For the siren. The rain siren that warns about the air raids. And, uh, and, uh, and I have to run it. Really? Jawohl. Me. Psst. 
quiet. And how did you get such a responsible job? Responsible? Genau, that's me. That's what it says in a letter from the district office too. Oh? Yeah. <laughs> they took a civilian like me because they don't have enough soldiers. And if you see airplanes coming, then what? Then? Then you operate the siren and... And? And warn the people of an air raid? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, uh, right, yes. I do that, boss, yes. What's your name? Warum? You want to report me for being a little um, uh, tipsy? Hmm? No, never. Maybe I should report you for wandering around here at night, huh? Uh, no. There. You see? That's why I don't say my name. <laughs> and you don't say yours, hmm? All right. All right! <laughs> Are there many patrols about tonight? Uh, the usual. And they leave you alone? I'm responsible for the siren. <laughs> I'm allowed to be out. <laughs> and you? Um, me too. Well, that's nice. Let's drink to that then, shall we? No, I'd rather not. I'm thirsty. Thirsty! Shh! Quiet. I need some money. Shh. Who doesn't? Would you lend me some money? Hmm. Well? What? About the money. No, thanks. I, I, I have money. But I don't. <sighs> All right. If you get me something to drink, you can have some money. Deal. Fine. Fine. But... <laughs> I want something really good. Fruit brandy. Top quality. Uh-huh. Because that's... that's... Uh, the... Because <laughs> it's good. Where can I get good fruit brandy? At this time of day? Not at all. I'm afraid. It's too dark. Too dark? Yeah, well, the shops are all closed. Blast. Do you know the way to the train station? Ah. The main station. It's down that little street there and behind the roadblock. Is there another way? Nein. Are you sure? Sure. That's annoying. I'd like to get to the train station without being stopped at a roadblock. Ach so, yeah. I can help you there. Yes, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nein. I can't. Oh. No. Does Heigerloch mean anything to you? Nein. Absolute nothing. Thank you. Good night. Night! Shh! Shh! Pardon me. The street continues that way. The main train station must be in that direction. There are two soldiers standing there, watching everything. If I cross the street, they'll see me. The soldiers are watching the street. I won't get past them. As soon as I try to go past, they'll see me. The road is blocked. Hopefully not because of me. I can't just jump over it. The road leads laterally to the main train station. Two buckets and a small cupboard on the wall. I can't open the lock. Another lock. This crank operates the siren. The crank moves a punch disc via a system of gears, causing the air to vibrate and generating sound waves. A simple principle. It's locked with a padlock. 
A pail. It's full of sand, presumably for putting out fires. I have no time for playing with sand. A pail. It's full of water. It's a miracle it isn't frozen. It's certainly very cold. That way leads back to the drunk. Excuse me? Huh? I have a question about the siren. Siren? Hey! What a coincidence! I know all about it! Stop yelling like that! Right. <laughs> Shouldn't you be at the siren? Yeah? And why aren't you there? Because I... <clears throat> Just wanted to nip out and get some Varolda. <laughs> Nowhere to be found, though. Who is Varolda? Your assistant? Yeah. <laughs> genau. <laughs> assistant. <laughs> assistant. <laughs> and where is he? He's, uh, he's in a bottle. <laughs> Shh. Be quiet, man. In what bottle? Yeah, yeah. Shh. In a Varolda bottle. Varolda bottle? Fruit. What? Varolda fruit brandy. So, Varolda is a kind of fruit brandy. Yeah. <laughs> the best there is. Aha. Uh -huh. So you don't have an assistant named Varolda? Nein. Should I? No. Have you got Varolda? No. Why not? I... because... I don't drink fruit brandy. Ah, oh, pity. I'm so thirsty. What are those two pails for? For sand and water. Then you've got the seaside. <laughs> sand and water, get it? <laughs> Be quiet. Well? <clears throat> to put out fires if the siren gets hit. Hmm. <laughs> the crank is locked. Jawohl, locked and bolted. <laughs> Quiet, please. Just a little quieter. Shh, quieter. Yeah, yeah, jawohl. Yeah, yes, sir. Do you have the key for the crank? Jawohl. Will you give it to me? Nein. What do you want for the key? What key? The key to the crank. For the siren? Yes. Psh, quiet. All right. Here you go. But... Yes? Don't break it. Never. Good, 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 good. Sehr gut, sehr gut. <clears throat> Something else. Okay. Can I get around the roadblock back there somehow? Huh? Ah, no. Are you sure? Huh? Nein. So how will you get through? Where? Through the roadblock. Well, I don't. Fine. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Night! Shh! Shh! Pardon me. Varolda. Now let's enhance the back of the poster corner. Hmm. I have to get closer. Now I have water, a bottle of water. Well, in it goes. Phew. 
you. That's pungent. Four. Hmm. No. Now the corner of the poster is damp. My beautiful Varolda fruit brandy label. It's moist. That certainly improves the bottle. Phew, that's pungent. Excuse me. Huh? So, Varolder is a kind of fruit brandy. <laughs> the best there is. Have you got Varolder? No. Why not? I... Because I don't drink fruit brandy. Ah, my dear. I'm so thirsty. Good night. Night! Shh! Excuse me. What? Take this. Varolda fruit brandy. <laughs> that's, that's, I, I, I don't know that name. Yes. Um, that's the anniversary edition. Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. I would fire the painter, but eh, who cares? Hmm. Anyway, I'm very grateful for this little bit. My pleasure. So, here's five Reichsmarks for your trouble. Thank you. Very kind. I... Uh, no, 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 never, never, never mind. Thank you, my friend. Five Reichsmarks. Enough for a train ticket. Well then, I'll unlock. It won't turn. Something's wrong. I'll heavily lubricate the crank transmission. Let's make some noise. diversion worked. The soldiers are no longer paying attention to the street. This little alley leads straight to the train station. I just have to get over the fence somehow. A display window seems to be a dress shop. Not much choice. I can also see hats through the window. Behind the window, I can see accessories. Hmm. The display window is dirty. I can't tell what's behind it. Old wooden crates. They look rotten. I could climb over it if it weren't for the barbed wire. A wooden fence looks sturdy. I could climb over it if it weren't for all the barbed wire. Barbed wire. And rusty nonetheless. If I try to get over that, I'll not only injure myself, but get stuck as well. With this, the barbed wire should no longer present a problem. The blanket is covering the barbed wire. 
I'll never get it back off. Let's get over then. I have the money for a ticket. I'll take the first train to Heigerloch. I should be there by late tomorrow morning. The train trip was unspectacular. I tried to sleep. There were too many things racing through my head. There. This is Heigerloch. Now I just have to find out where the production facility is. I arrived on this train. I assume it'll stop here for a while. I don't want to travel any further. The Heigerloch train station. Rather empty. Hardly. A wooden bench. It looks comfortable. I've been sitting for so long on the train. I've had enough for now. A small bowl. Someone must have forgotten it. That leads to the village. Soldiers. Maybe I could find out something from them. Scissors. From this I conclude that this is a tailor's shop. How? Looks dark. The tailor's shop is closed. A stall. It looks rather cheap. A hawker. A shabby hawker to be precise. Excuse me? Yes. May I help you? Isn't it too cold to stand out here all day? As long as the sun is shining, it's not so bad. Sometimes I go over to the inn to warm myself, but only when the landlord isn't there. Listen. Yes? You wouldn't happen to have a cigarette for me, would you? I'm sorry, no. I don't smoke. Pity. I'd give a lot for a cigarette. Even I have a lot of trouble getting them. I'd like to buy the old shovel. A good choice. The shovel is used, but it still works properly. Only 50 fenix. The handle is rotten. All right, 40 fenix. And the shovel blade is rusty. 30 fenix? Well, I don't know. 10 fenix. I can't go any lower. Rather not. Forget it then. Yes. How much is this basket? The basket? Um... 50 fenix. Too dear. 40 fenix. I can't go any lower. The basket is old and full of holes. 10 fenix. No, thank you. As you will. Yes. How much are the boots? The boots? Two Reichsmarks. Two Reichsmarks for used boots? It's hard to get boots these days. One mark fifty. The boots are very warm. And broken in. No blisters. One mark twenty. The sole on the left boot is very thin. One mark. I can't go any lower. Are you sure? No. Less than a mark and I lose money. Perhaps later. As you will. Yes. Did you see the soldiers? Soldiers? Perhaps. I saw them. Whenever I see soldiers, I fade into the woodwork. I don't see anything and I don't want to be seen. Ha. Huh. All right. Goodbye. So long. I'll be standing here for a while. The church. It looks old. Interesting. But no. This is the way to the fountain. A fountain. How picturesque. That couldn't possibly work. A Kübelwagen. I can't steal a car in the presence of a priest. The priest of Heigerloch. He seems to be quite lost in thought. 
Father? Yes, my son. You're so... lost in thought. It... it is nothing. Perhaps I can help you. No, no. Never mind. What can you tell me about Heigerloch? About Heigerloch? Well, we are all God-fearing people here, with a few exceptions, of course. But there are black sheep everywhere, and... I meant more about the town itself. Ah, yeah. Heigerloch. It's a rather old town. Its history goes back to the 11th century. At that time, it was... Pardon me. I meant, is there a university or educational facility? Perhaps a university testing ground? <laughs> if you would pose your questions more precisely, I would not need to range so far afield, and you would not have to interrupt me. My apologies. Well, my son, o tempora humoris. Errare humanum est. <laughs> but, audiato et altera pars. I can only say, in dubio pro reo. Your Latin is excellent. Only the most common phrases. Well, well, well. Don't be so modest. But no. No? No educational facility, university or the like. Apart from our grammar school. <laughs> there is a university in Tübingen. But that is some 40 kilometers from here. Fine. Thank you. The inn seems to be very old. Yes, it is. But how old exactly, I do not know, my son. I'm new in town. Does the landlord also rent rooms? I believe so. Have you seen the soldiers? What soldiers? There were just a couple of soldiers, weren't there? Well, I did not see any. I was deep in thought. But in times like these, soldiers are a common sight. I'd like to know. They went into the inn. Why do you want to know? I am... Uh, I'm just curious. Oh, these days... Being curious is a dangerous activity, you know. Yes, I... Uh, yes. Can you tell me anything about the hawker? Him? Homo homini lupus. He is... Um, a good hawker, I think. But? They say that he... Well... Is involved in the black market. Farmer as sue quisca fortune. Yes. One could say that. Thank you. And goodbye. It was a pleasure. The local inn. It looks old. Very funny. Ha ha. That leads up to the inn. A dustbin. Empty. I have to get out of this habit. A lantern. Rusty. No, no, no! A lorry. I don't want to leave here at the moment. A wooden fence. It separates the building from the street. I've had enough of wooden fences. A sack full of grain. This sack is much too heavy for me. A quick stab, and the grain flows out of the sack. I'll fill the bowl with grain. There are grains in the bowl. Empty and filthy. I've had enough of wooden fences. That's not good. The Swan Inn. Uh -huh. I can't reach it. This is the way into the inn. Excuse me? Yes? You don't have many customers. No. The war is not good for business. I understand that. Still, I thought there'd be more people here. War? Why? Well, I saw soldiers come in here earlier. You aren't from around here, are you? No. 
Why? Strangers don't often find their way here. Yes, well, um, I'm just passing through. I see. Do you have any rooms for rent? Yes, I have two guest rooms upstairs. They are empty, so you can take your pick. Empty? Hmm. I saw soldiers coming in here earlier. Aren't they billeted here? Soldiers? You are mistaken. There are no soldiers here. Hmm. Where does that door lead? To the keller, where the drinks are stored. You certainly are a curious fellow, aren't you? I, um... <laughs> yes, I am. May I see the cellar? No, it is for uh, uh, employees only. Why would you want to see the keller? Yes, well... It's just that this building is so old, and I'm sure that the cellar has a very fine vault. Hmm. As I said, the keller is not open to visitors. What do you think of the hawker? He had better watch out. He is not a respectable person. Why? He deals in illegal things. Really? What, for example? How am I to know? Just stay away from him. The priest seems to be rather lost in thought. So? Do you perhaps know why? No. What could... I worry about my own business. Of course, of course. Let's leave it at that. See you later. I can hardly wait. The landlord. He looks a bit surly. The barmaid. Presumably the best source of information in Heigerloch. Miss? Yes, sir. The priest out there is somewhat... Lost in thought? Yes. Ah, he is a nice priest, but rather peculiar. Why? He loves to quote Latin sayings. So do I, sometimes. Then you are also peculiar, although you do look very nice. Thank you. It's so empty here. There is never much going on at this time of day. Hmm. But didn't I see soldiers come in here? I don't think so. But... Do you what? What? You look much too serious. That could be. It's all very complicated. I have a good remedy for that. Oh? When I am at a loss or everything is just too difficult, I just think of something nice and I am happy again. What, for example? Nylon stockings. Expensive but beautiful. Ah. If you could get me some, I might have something for you. Something that might interest me? All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Do you have any rooms for rent? Yes. At the moment, they are all empty. Ask the landlord. Thank you. Um... It was nothing. Where does that door lead? To the cellar. I, I never go down there because of, uh, well... I just don't go down there. Why not? I know it's rather silly, but I'm afraid of spiders. I see. A and cobwebs, wood lice, rats, ghosts, and the dark. But only a little. I would be brave enough to go down there with you, though. Then let's go. Nothing doing. What a pity. Can you tell me anything about the priest? I found out something about him. What? You mustn't tell anyone else. Never. He repeats his sermons. What? Well, instead of always writing new sermons, he reuses his old ones. How terrible. But he is a priest. Yes. The hawker out there. He says all sorts of things, mostly used. Ah. He can also get you things that aren't so easy to find. Interesting. The landlord isn't very friendly. He's a bit gruff, but otherwise very sociable. You also seem to be very sociable. Thank you. Could you distract him for me? No, but I could distract you. I, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> You're blushing. No. <laughs> See you soon. I hope so. That leads to the kitchen. I don't want to go in there. The cutlery is probably stored in this chest of drawers. I don't need any cutlery. 
the bar, made of wood. Hmm? A pack of cigarettes. There are still a couple of cigarettes in it. Hands off. Those are mine. A people's radio. Interesting what comes out of there. I'd better not fiddle with this. A truly impressive selection of alcoholic drinks. Getting drunk now? Bad idea. A picture. It shows the leader of this country. Hmm. No, no, no. Awards for services to the fatherland. Interesting. Awards for services to the fatherland. Interesting. An older lady is smiling from this picture. How nice. An elderly man. It seems he's glancing at the older lady on the picture next to his own. A photograph of a little girl. How sweet. An elegant clock. It stopped. This picture shows a half-naked athlete, blonde and blue-eyed. However, he seems to have a distinct squint. A rather mature lady on a chair. In reality, that flimsy chair could never bear the weight of the lady. The rules of the house. The landlord is always right. <laughs> How? The sun is shining outside. The sun is shining outside. A rosary. Quite important in times like these. I'll take that. Simple in tables. I don't want to sit down. The long train journey was quite enough. He looks as though he was rooted there. No reaction. Hmm. The staircase probably leads to the guest rooms. I... you can't go in there. That leads down to the cellar. I... you can't go in there. Father? Yes, my son. The barmaid in the inn is a nice girl. Sings in the church choir. She's single. Her father in the army. He supposedly fell in Africa, but that was never confirmed. Poor thing, she... Oh, I'm babbling on again. That's all right. Thank you, and goodbye. It was a pleasure. The priest of Heigerloch. He seems to be quite lost in thought. Excuse me? Yes. May I help you? Do you have anything else? Perhaps you are interested in something special. What? I don't know. What do you need? Information. Information? Uh, I don't want anything to do with that. Too dangerous. But... No. Do you know anyone who sells information? Listen, what we're talking here is very dangerous. Again, I don't want anything to do with this. All right. Nothing. Do you know the barmaid in the inn? Oh yes, very pretty. Sometimes I go into the inn just so she will smile at me. Interesting. 
Why is the priest so lost in thought? His rosary is missing. Ah. Yes, and now he is looking for it desperately. For some time now, actually. Goodbye. So long. I will be standing here for a while. Father? Yes, my son? The hawker told me that you've lost your rosary. A very unpleasant matter. That rosary was given to me by Bishop Unger, of blessed memory. And now you're looking for it? Yeah. It means a great deal to me. When I began my studies, I... Forgive me. Perhaps I can be of some help to you in your search. But of course. That would be very kind. I must have lost the rosary on one of my walks around the town. If I find it, I'll come to you. Thank you, my son. About the rosary. Yeah? I found it. That is wonderful. Grazie, Sago. I am deeply in your... I found the rosary in the inn. That is... Where is it? Uh, was probably at a town meeting, huh? Yes. Let me give you some money as a sign of my heartfelt gratitude. Thank you. I can certainly use it. I... Yes. Auri Sacra Fames. Thank you, and goodbye. It was a pleasure. Excuse me? Yes? May I help you? Do you have anything else? Perhaps you are interested in something special. What? I don't know. What do you need? Nylon stockings. Ah, the gentleman is a bon vivant. Two Reichsmarks. Isn't that a bit expensive? No. Aren't you supposed to reduce the price a bit now? No, two marks. All right. Here you are, sir. Thank you. Nothing. Goodbye. So long. I'll be standing here for a while. Miss? Yes, sir. See you soon. I hope so. Nylon stockings. Very difficult to tear. I hear they can be used to repair tank tracks. Here. For you. Nylon stockings! You are a dear! Um, well, thank you. You mentioned you've got something for me. The kiss was your reward. Oh, I, I was thinking that... So you aren't interested in me? Um, well, actually... Oh, I see. Please, here is your reward. A bottle of liquor. You don't seem to be interested in women. Well, that went rather badly. The soldiers can only have gone into the cellar. I must get down there somehow. Liquor. Strong stuff. Liquor. Strong stuff. A street runs in that direction. The man keeps sweeping the same spot. He's very absorbed in his work and doesn't respond. Another street goes up that way. According to the sign, a baker has his shop here. 
I don't need anything from the baker. A woman is staring from the window. Hello? How impolite. A dung heap. Filthy and stinking. Seems to be a rat hole. I'm not sticking my hand in there. I'll pour some liquor into the bowl. Liquor soaked grain. Disgusting. I sympathize with the beast already. It seems to like it. Oh, that must be very strong liquor. Grain softened with liquor. Disgusting. I have no further use for that. A woman is staring from the window. I had better take the poor thing with me. Ah, the rat yearns to be free. I would better let it go soon or it will start to bite me. A rat, drunker than Auntie Mildred at Christmas. Hey, the rat's waking up. I'd better get rid of it. A window. Behind it is the inn's kitchen. It's locked. And voila, the window is open, and nobody noticed me. A window, behind it is the inn's kitchen. The window's open, but I don't want to enter the kitchen. Have lots of fun in the kitchen, then. The rat seems to have caused a bit of disturbance in the kitchen. Good. The kitchen is in a complete uproar. Bloody I must make use of that. A gigantic barrel. A lot of wine would fit in there. I can't move it. Another gigantic barrel probably stood here. That won't work. The stairs lead up to the bar room. Bloody vermin! I don't smoke, but you never know. A packet of cigarettes. There are still a couple inside. Excuse me? Yes. May I help you? I have cigarettes. Cigarettes? Oh, you fine man. Not so fast. I want information in return. I... All right. What do you want to know? The soldiers? Oh, them. Normally they go into the inn and don't come out for a long time. Something must be going on in there. Besides that, they seem to be speaking in code. Recently I heard one of them instructing the other, saying, The bear drives two hairs into the maw of the wolf. Are you sure? Absolutely. The bear drives two hairs into the maw of the wolf. Hmm. Thank you very much. Here are your cigarettes. Oh, thank you. And don't tell anyone what I just told you. Goodbye. So long. I'll be standing here for a while.
firewood, slightly frozen. Hmm, I'll take that along. A piece of wood, slightly frozen. A handy hatchet. Hmm, I'll take that along. A hatchet. I hope I don't hurt myself with it. Bloody thou! Metal wheels. I'll take a closer look at that. Aha! A secret door. That's where the soldiers disappeared. A secret tunnel, and dark to boot. A sluice, massive thing. I have no idea what these pipes are for. No, no, no! The sluice gate only opens a little. It looks as though the opening mechanism on the other side is blocked by a wooden beam. I can't squeeze through. I can reach it with the hatchet. Still so jumpy, Professor? More than ever. Where did you come from? From Berlin, and just now through the air shaft back there. Yes, that. I mean, uh, how? I was the one who switched off the lights and pushed you out of the window in Berlin. Then I also made my escape and came here. Hmm. It was no coincidence that von Presnitz was at the Heereswaffenamt. I think Mr. Graham and I were under observation from the beginning. And now you think that I... I just find it curious that you were right there when we wanted to get into the HWA. And don't you find it curious that von Presnitz isn't lurking here? I still haven't had a look around in here. Perhaps he's lurking. For heaven's sake, don't be so paranoid. I'm not here after you. I came to destroy the prototype. Do whatever you like. But, um, all right. Let's search. Fine. Anne Taylor. Hmm. Anne? Yes? Was it difficult getting to Heigerloch? Once I got out of Berlin, it was no problem. Why? Oh, just interested. Still suspicious, Professor? Hmm. Do you know how to open these sluices? It will be difficult without electricity, but as always, I have complete trust in your abilities. As an agent, shouldn't you employ your abilities and I lend a hand now and then? Then your talents would go to waste. I could never forgive myself. Hmm. Have you found anything interesting yet? No, but I'm doing my best. It's eerie here, isn't it? It's all right. I've been in less pleasant places. Oh, really? Where? Top secret, but I can tell you the least pleasant place. And that is? St. Clair's School for Young Ladies. I bet the teachers hated you. Why? I'm sure you were just as cheeky then as you are now. Well, aren't you a charming fellow? Well then. Yes. A control panel. The console looks as though it's been shot. There are enough bullet casings lying about. Hmm, it no longer works. The thing seems to be connected with the sluice. A large gear wheel. It looks used. I'll take that. A machine. 
Who knows what it does? That couldn't possibly work. An old wooden grate. That'll come to nothing. An old cupboard. It's empty. The sluice gate is not completely closed. What is that? It looks like an electrolysis apparatus for extracting heavy water. Heavy water? What on earth is that? Heavy water is required as a moderator to slow the neutrons. Oh, how interesting. Well, you asked. I don't know what these tanks are for. That can't be done. Hmm. There are some small gear wheels in here. I'll take that. Curious thing. It looks like a mobile filtering device. I don't think that's very clever. The water is part of the electrolysis apparatus. Why would I want to go in there? A small gear wheel. How sweet. I'll take that. There's a valve wheel on this tank. I'm not fiddling with that. Who knows what might happen? There's another room back there. This looks like a switchboard for telephones. Hmm. I can't reach it. A door lock. The door is locked. A gear wheel. Standard size, I should say. I'll take that. I'm healthy, for now. If I injure myself, at least I know where to find bandages. I have no idea what that is for. Why should I turn the wheel? A medium-sized gear wheel. Small than large, but larger than small. Well... I'll take that. What a colour! Hmm. Frankly, I've had enough of bottles and liquids. I don't have anything I want to examine. That can't be done. What a colour. A shelf full of documents. Interesting. It's been thoroughly ransacked. There's nothing useful there. A small Bunsen burner. Very compact. I'll take that. Various scientific devices. Thermohygrometers, cylindrical dynamometers. I'm not doing anything with that right now. A periodic table. An overview of all known elements. That won't work. Erich Asler is written on this locker. This locker is marked... Siegfried Reller. Theo Middenkamp. Aha. The sign on this locker reads Heinrich Jensen. Günther Hemlich is written on the locker.
A cable. Well, well. I'll take that. A cable. Black. Yet another tank that can't be done. A gigantic metal bottle. It's empty. According to these markings, there was compressed air in here. The security chain is holding the cylinder on the rack. That won't come to anything. Perhaps I can open one of the chain links with it. Oops. This metal bottle still seems to be full. The valve on the gas cylinder is closed. A special tool is required to open it. Let's see if the reaction principle will work here. That was very loud. But effective. We can get in here. The sluice has been partially destroyed. I can fit through there. Not bad with the sluice. Thank you. Basic physics. A fuse box. It's open. A broken fuse. Marvelous. A small and a medium sized gear wheel. I'll take that. We can proceed that way. Some sort of mechanism. Perhaps it can be used to open the sluice in an emergency. If I can get this mechanism back in operation, the sluice should open. Sometimes, I'm really good. Oh my God! Von Presnitz made a good job of it here. Do you notice anything? Bodies. Yes, and no prototype anywhere. We must keep searching. This is horrible. Try to get this door open. You keep looking around. All right. And? Can you get the door open? Yes, but it will take a while. Can I help? No. Make yourself useful somewhere else. All right. Dead bodies. Apparently, von Presnitz killed all the workers and scientists. I'm not touching any bodies, and I don't want to get too close to them either. Machines. 
I'd have to examine them closely to know what they're for. That can't be done. A small key. It must have fallen out of the pocket of one of the scientists. A small key. It must have fallen out of the pocket of one of the scientists. Equipment for raising heavy loads. Four. Hmm. No. A photo and blueprints of the bomb prototype. So it does exist. I'll take this with me. This locker is locked. The key should fit here, if nowhere else. Oh, uh, and a very attractive young lady. No, she isn't my type. A plastic box. It looks used. Aha, here is a fuse. A fuse. Every home should have one. Let there be light. Old junk is stored up there. I don't really want to go up there. These crates look rather unused. That'll come to nothing. A secret door. It was impossible to see in the dark. Graham! Russell, I, uh, it's good to see you. How did you get here? When the lights went out, I ran for it. I came straight here to Heigerloch, took a look around and found this tunnel. Hmm. Someone betrayed this operation. All three of us couldn't possibly have succeeded in escaping. Someone here is playing us false. It can only be Taylor or Schmidt. Colonel Travers is probably out of the question. Hmm. I don't know. What about you? Me? Have you taken leave of your senses? My family was killed by German bombs. Do you believe I would cooperate with the Germans? I don't know. Have you contacted Travers? No. A wireless is not easy to find, but I'm expecting to find one inside of this base. I haven't seen one so far. Then we just have to look harder. I've already searched through everything here. And did you find anything? Everyone who worked here is dead, and there's no trace of the prototype. Damn. I look around. Maybe you overlooked something. Wait here for me. Just a moment. I... The devil I will. I suppose they couldn't blow up this rock. Hmm. That doesn't make much sense. That leads out. A tree stump. That'll come to nothing. A well-worn path. I'm no Boy Scout, 
but a lot of people went this way. Not yet. First, I want to search the production facility completely. That's much too heavy for me. I couldn't carry it very far. A bag. It's full of gold bars. A gold bar. I'm sure I'll need it. And I... Ah, she opened the door. can proceed that way. John, von Presnitz sent a message from here to a German general. He has the prototype and he wants to use it where it will do the most damage. Good news. Peter is here. What? I found a secret tunnel in the storeroom. And I met Peter there. That is, I'll go look for him. You contact Travers. There's enough equipment here. There used to be a gate here. Now it's walled shut. I don't think so. A wiring diagram for a receiver. Abyssus, Abyssum, Invocat. This receiver is in pieces. It's probably broken. How? A radio log. The last entry is... To Colonel General Keller, Command East. Have requisitioned prototype Wintersun. Will employ the most urgently needed. Von Presnitz. I don't think that's very clever. Yes, I know. Time is pressing. Abyssus, Abyssum, Invocat. That can be used to send messages. Nothing is happening. A microphone. Hello? Hmm. This thing is a sort of giant wireless transmitter. Probably military. They really go for size. What for? There's a small generator in here. It probably provides power for the communications unit. It doesn't work. Someone has torn out a cable. Almost as good as new. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Professor? Yes. I just wanted... We're in Heigerloch, in the production facility. What is the situation? Yes. Well, it's... All three of us were arrested by an SS officer called von Presnitz. Oh. We found the documents. The rocket propulsion system is unusable, but the bomb could work. Then the Germans found us and von Presnitz forced me to solve a problem in calculating the implosion pressure. Fact is that in the initial detonation, the uranium can be compressed into a critical mat. Professor? Um, yes. I was able to escape, and I'm now in the production facility in Heigerloch. Miss Taylor and Mr. Graham are also here. Interesting. I. Yes. In any case, von Presnitz has the functioning bomb and intends to use it where it's needed. John? You are our only chance. I... Fine. We'll... We'll try to stop Von Presnitz, wherever he may go. Very good. I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'll look for the others. I already spoke to Trout.
Stop it. <laughs> Only one bullet. What now? Stop it. Professor, help me, quickly. Graham, you're killing her. Stop it at once. She is the traitor, Russell. Help me. A pistol. I'm going to be sick. Anne, are you all right? Next time, shoot first and talk later. But I did. Oh! He's still alive. Graham, why? How did you know I was? The first thing that made me suspicious was the fact that you were not surprised that Anne had escaped. Then I saw the bag of gold. It's much too heavy for Anne. You, on the other hand... <laughs> Why, Peter? Why? My family. The death of my family changed everything. I wanted... I just want to get away from this war. Somewhere where I can start over. Von Presnitz promised me a great deal of money if I brought him a scientist. And you were the one who gave him the bomb. He forced me. You only wanted money. At least I'm not a hypocrite like you. You are trying to save the world from your own invention. What is that supposed to mean, Peter? Ask the worthy professor. John, what does he mean by that? I, uh... Well, someone from the government approached me about supporting the United States in a research project. Go on. Well, the research project, very fascinating and complex it was. John! Yes, well, it's a program for developing nuclear weapons. The um, project is codenamed the Manhattan Project. How could you? I've already worked on a similar British project. Somehow I just stumbled into it. Stumbled? My God, John, you don't stumble into a project for manufacturing nuclear weapons. It was... I didn't really think about it. It was a scientific challenge. They told me I was serving my country. That's what they always say. But Peter has... Peter? He's dead. I, uh... Now what? We try to stop von Presnitz. Peter Graham. I killed him. I don't want to look at it, if at all possible, and I certainly don't want A lorry. It looks military, although it doesn't have any markings. I don't think so. There's waste oil in this barrel. Hmm? An airplane hangar. Rather large, actually. I don't think that's very clever. There are warning sirens on this tower. Those things can be quite loud. Interesting. But, no. It seems to be a transport plane. No. Bad idea. There's a tank lorry next to the airplane. No. Bad idea. There's a tank lorry next to the airplane. This is the way into the hangar. They just loaded the bomb, and now they have all disappeared into the office. What should we do? Carry off the bomb? No. Maybe we can prevent the airplane from taking off for now. Maybe I can sabotage something. All right. I'll make sure that nobody approaches. John, they could be here any moment. The tank lorry has seen better days. If I drive the tank lorry, the soldiers will shoot at me. What would happen then is fairly clear. The fuel hose. 
the fuel flows through it into the transport plane's tank. The hose is screwed to the pump. The fuel hose. The fuel flows through it into the transport plane's tank. The sieve prevents particles of dirt from getting into the plane's tank. Simply removing the sieve isn't enough. Yes, the box fits exactly where the sieve was. If I put everything back together, the box will block the flow and they won't be able to refuel. To screw the hose back on, I'll need some tools. And up with the hose! Watch out! It's von Presnitz! We have to hide! Into the plane, quickly! I hope no one comes back here. Psst! Precisely. The airplane is fully fueled, so we can start immediately. Nobody is to enter the cargo area. Understood? Very well. Move! Jawohl, Herr Obersturmbahnführer. All aboard! Jawohl! Oh no! The plane is already fully fueled. That means we sabotaged the tank lorry for nothing. Quiet now. Hidden on board an aeroplane, between a beautiful woman and the most dangerous weapon in the world. This will go well in my memoirs if I survive. We have to disarm the bomb somehow. We've already gone over this. We can't get at the bomb without making noise. As soon as we open the crate, the soldiers will hear us. But we have to act now. What if von Presence wants to drop the bomb from the plane? We can't. The bomb will explode while the plane is still in the explosion radius. Does he know that? I, uh, oh, I hope so. Maybe we should... What was that? I don't know. It looks like... Anti-aircraft fire. We're over a city. Oh my god, do you know what city that is? No, is that important at this point? They're shooting at us. We are over Stalingrad. Stalingrad? That isn't good. Ah, oh, we've been hit. The plane is going to crash. Oh, my head. John. Uh, mm, mm. What? Herr Sturmbahnführer, we have stowaways. No matter. Bring them out. Move. Come. I am trapped here. Herr Sturmbahnführer, she. Very well. Leave her in the wreck. Then she will burn. Anne! Come out, you! Professor Russell, you are a stubborn man. Anne, Miss Taylor is stuck in the wreck. Hmm. I could take both of you with me to watch the end of the Battle of Stalingrad. This is madness. However, I think I shall simply leave you here and have you shot. Soldier, execute the traitors. Jawohl. Very well. Until we meet again in a better place. Ah! Don't worry. I'm fed up. I don't want anything more to do with von Presnitz. I'll make my way to the German lines. Thank you. That is... Thank you. Don't thank me. You are civilians on a battlefield. Your chances of survival are not very good. Thanks to you. They're a lot better than they were a few minutes ago. Whatever. Good luck. Phew. <sighs> I must help Anne before the burning oil causes the engine to explode. Anne, let me help you. No, John, I can get myself out of here. You put out the fire. I... what? Yes. All right. 
A burning pool. It must be oil or kerosene. If the pool burns any further, the aeroplane will explode. A German steel helmet. Hmm. Sandbags. Why should I drag those heavy things around? Now sand is dribbling out of a sack. Hmm. The helmet is filled with sand. And up we go. The sand is covering the pool and extinguishing the fire. That was close. Well done, John. Oh, thank you. And now we just need to put von Presnitz out of business. I wish I had your energy. Extreme situations can work wonders. Thank you. I've had enough. The pool is extinguished. Oh. It's still rather hot. The transport plane that brought us here. It won't be flying again in the near future. No. There's nothing in there that interests me. A fire extinguisher. Hmm. One of the transport plane's motors. Heavily damaged. I don't think so. I've never seen a city so destroyed by bombs. Rubble and debris everywhere. That's not good. I like her after a fashion. Anne? Yes? I'd like to get away from here as quickly as possible. So would I, but we have to find von Presnitz. What if we don't find him? Well, you're the nuclear expert. Do you have a weapon? Apart from my feminine charm? No. So we're in a besieged and embattled city and we have no weapon. We're still alive, John. Ah, yes. That makes me feel much better. What should we do once we find von Presnitz? The most important thing is to disarm the prototype. Fine. And should it happen that von Presnitz dies in the process? You won't shed a tear. Exactly. Stalingrad is somehow... unsettling. Yes, the city is completely destroyed. And there are no people. Because they are dead or in hiding. Oh, nothing. Whatever you say. Von Presnitz and his people disappeared that way. I can't imagine what Stalingrad looked like before the war. Very funny. Ha ha. An empty canteen. All right. The gun is thoroughly wrecked. The barrel of a machine gun. Hmm. It's frozen tight. There's nothing useful to be found in the rubble. Snow white and deadly. There we are, full of snow. 
The helmet is filled with snow. There's hot water inside it now. The helmet is filled with hot water. The hot water should free the barrel of ice. The barrel of a machine gun, de-iced. All right, the barrel of a machine gun. This leads further on. Hey, you! Oh God, a sniper! If we continue in that direction, the sniper will be able to see us. Maybe the sniper can be distracted. Anne? Yes? Can you distract the sniper? How shall I do that? Wave? No. There isn't much else I can think of. Oh, nothing. Whatever you say. A city in ruins. How? A dead soldier. He seems to be an officer. I don't want to search him. We won't get any farther in that direction as long as the sniper is there. Hmm. That doesn't make much sense. A sniper is sitting out there, waiting for me to stick my head out. An old water tower. That's where they're shooting at us from. The helmet's at the end of the barrel. Ah, now he has to reload. Quick, move! Watch out! He still hasn't seen us. Von Presnitz must be in the factory. We've got to get in there. The soldier will undoubtedly have something against that. Just a moment. I have an idea. Based on the ruins, this is an industrial area that'll come to nothing. The entrance to a factory. The wall has also seen better days. The bricks look very loose. The soldier is guarding the entrance. What for? Money makes the world go around. That was smashing. You've got a sense of humor after all, Professor. Why? Perfect. Let's see if the soldier has anything useful on him. A hand grenade. I'll be very careful with that. A soldier is out of action. I don't want to search him. A hand grenade. Very dangerous. We have to search the factory. I'll take the left side. You search the right. All right.
a wooden beam. Looks stable enough. All right. All right. Some sort of power plant. Totally wrecked. No. That leads further into the factory. The rubble here looks like it's about to come down. I have to support it somehow. There's an office or something up there. There's no way up there from here. The rubble here looks like it's about to come down. I have to support it somehow. There. The beam is wedged in so that it'll prevent the rubble from falling. For a few minutes at least. Hmm. This section looks as though it's collapsed quite recently. I have to get up there. I'll take that. The stairs lead to the upper floor. That's too far to jump. That might work. I can safely cross there. The two wooden beams form a bridge. They lead nowhere. I'm not suicidal. This leads onward. John, I've got it! The prototype! Yes. And no von Presnitz. Something is blinking. John! That isn't good. Do something now! I'm trying. Phew. Stay calm. Now, the simplest method of disarming the bomb is to interrupt the current supply. Hmm. The little green lights indicate the conductors that lead directly to the bomb. It should be enough to interrupt three of them. I can't cut the wires directly next to the lights because there's a glass plate over them. Looks solid. All right. Then I just have to cut the wires on the left. These grey things must be some sort of alarm. They register when the electricity is cut off and trigger the detonation of the bomb. Damn. But these alarm sensors also need electricity. They must get that from these rectangular um, things. So, if at all possible, I should interrupt the current to the rectangular things. And then it won't matter if I cut through a cable that has an alarm sensor. So, I have to interrupt three leads with green lights, but I mustn't trigger any of the grey alarm sensors. I can deactivate those by cutting off the electricity to the associated rectangular thingies. The bomb is also sure to detonate if I cut through too many wires. I shouldn't cut through more than four wires under any circumstances. Let's do it. Phew. I've got the... Phew. I've got the radioactive core now. It's well shielded. 
but we should still be very careful. Hey, who are you? Tavarish, on Dolgen yet a srochna ubrach. Svokoina dovarichi. Yasama etim simos. She can speak Russian, and the soldiers are pointing their weapons only at me. I'll have to think of something fast. John, please give me the radioactive core. Anne, what's going on here? Pavinitius! John, this is no time for explanations. Give me the core. Never! Interesting. You're a very resourceful fellow, John. What about the radioactive core? We passed it on to the research division. It's in good hands. Hmm. Have you learned anything about von Presnitz? Or about any of the others? No, John. I would like to ask you if you would work for us. We need people like you. I think my thirst for adventure has been thoroughly slaked. Are you sure you won't reconsider? I would assign you to someone you would get along with quite well. Who's that? Oh, let it be a surprise, John. Thank you.